Welcome to L.A. Foodie. I'm Drew, that's Ben, we're the Food Dudes. We're looking for the best food in L.A. and usually finding it. On today's show, we root some beers, flatten some breads, and tell you what you should have been eating at Comic-Con. Plus, Miles and Spencer from Two Buns, One Cow join us to taste L.A.'s best burger. And the Yelpers will rise again with Yelp Counter Yelp. So keep mine rare, make his charcoal, because there's all that and more. Coming up on L.A. Foodie. Value market, what? Benjamin. What? All right. I just discovered this place. There's 11 locations in L.A. They're all over the place, from Anaheim to okay. Whittier. All right. Um, top T.O.P. value, V.A.L.U. I'm expecting a discount galore. Uh, that's kind of the deal. Okay. Um, all right. So L.A. Foodie World Headquarters, new location. Sure. Right. New back lot. Ooh. Yeah. There's a tamale lady that comes around no. once a week. Her tamales right. are like two bucks a tamale, which is totally worth it. Okay. You know, you got transportation costs. You have labor costs. Sure, right. Her yeah. kids come with her. I'm sure she has to buy happens you know, pop tarts or whatever. Yeah, kids right. Eat. You know, um, fruit roll ups. And I started thinking to myself, too, nuggets. That of anything all cost money. Yeah, is my point. Oof. So what's the markup on a tamale like? Two like, bucks a tamale. Yeah, it's like a so dollar. So I tweeted out. To the L.A. Foodie Twitter crowd, which is sure. awesome. Yeah. And I said, um, where can I find masa that's prepared for tamales? Because here's the trick with okay. tamales. After okay. doing some reading, yeah. you can fake fresh dough. You can do it with the dried corn flour stuff. Um, okay. Cook's Illustrated Magazine recommends that you mix it with instant or uh, quick grits. To try to approximate this flavor that you would get uh, in fresh uh, masa. So I said, where I can you this. get fresh masa? Real somebody masa, on yeah. Twitter said, yeah. what do you think they said? Top value, Top value market. market. It sounds like, yeah. All right. So that's where I went. It's cheap, man. It's like a buck a pound. Um, wow, all right. And we got some corn husks. So $2 wh- a tamale, you were totally getting ripped off. Well, oh, no, I mean, well, it's, well, it's, the, it's you're paying Pop-tarts, for the labor. Man. Pop-tarts. Oh, uh, Pop-Tarts. Never mind, never mind. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we figured, I mean, you can feed a crowd of like 50 for a buck a person on this stuff. <laughs> They're fun as hell to make. Yeah. Do it as a group. I had a good time. I, yeah. I made some. I'm yeah, not, not going to lie. It was a good time. There's a group of us. Yeah, we, we, yeah. It was we all fun. made some. And um, the, the cool part is is that excellent produce at Top Value Market. Okay. Right? Not the, a lot of standard stuff, but not the typical stuff that you would find at a supermarket. Okay. All right. Good prices on everything. I would say... If there's anything to beware of, it's that the produce is kind of ready to go at the time. Oh, okay. I kind of think you want that's to eat the way. Eat right away. You're not putting in the brown bag. No, I mean no, I okay. think that's right. kind of the deal okay. with Top Value Market right. is they're giving us a discount because that shit is ripe and ready to eat today. You gotta get it right now. So you okay. know, okay. you want us, you want some ripe avocados, you want some ripe plums, you know, whatever. Sure. Top value, I, I recommend it. It's it's kind of like as a white guy in LA, I feel stupid for not ever knowing that it's there. Sure. I mean, but you I'm know, glad I know now. The freshest stuff doesn't last long. All right, Ben, what have you been up to, dude? You know what? Uh, I talked about it last time we went to Comic Con. Comic Con. I talked to our friend Jeff Stone, uh-huh. who writes a comic called High Quality Erotic Art. Which is it? It's not quality? high quality or erotic. Not much erotic about it. Maybe art. Okay. Yeah. High. Uh, Maybe high. Uh, you should check it out. Okay. Anyway, I discussed with him where you should be eating when you're at Comic-Con. Let's check it out. Hi, everybody. We're here at Comic-Con, and I'm wearing some Brainwave cat ears. Let's see how they respond when I think about pizza. Mm, pizza. Are they doing anything? I don't know. Anyway, last night I talked to Jeff Stone about his favorite foods at Comic-Con. Jeff Stone, our friend who does high-quality erotic art, the online comic strip, Let's take a listen to what he had to say. Yeah, I do I do a comic called High Quality Erotic Art that I think at least three people I don't personally know read. <laughs> do your listeners know that we're just walking down the street in San Diego oh, after sure. hours of Comic-Con? We've been at a bar. We're looking at other bars <laughs> where there's like the cool the cool kids of San Diego and the nerds. There's the nerds. The yeah. nerd asses of Comic-Con mingle together for a few fabulous nights and it's kind of it's kind of wonderful and amazing. It's as far as people watching goes, it, it can't be beat. Oh, job of the hut. What do you think of food at the San Diego Comic-Con? Since I've been working a table at Comic-Con for the last 5 years, food options are, are pretty limited during the day. Let's set the scene here. I mean, 
inside the convention center, it's kind of like stadium food. Yeah, that, that, that'd be a fair description. I mean, it's kind of a, a living nightmare. You can get a hot dog or like a pizza. Leslie saw a pizza yesterday that made her hate pizza forever. So it's a nightmare on the inside. I mean, sometimes it's a necessity, but if you're like a con goer, there's no reason that you should eat food inside unless absolutely necessary. Yeah, you've got to you've got to plan to not eat inside. So, in all your time at Comic-Con, what is the best food you've had? Um, that's a good question. There's a place that we found a few years ago that we went, we we actually we were there last night and we've gone there a few times called uh, the Rock Bottom Brewery. We eat some, some decent food there and they've got some, some nice beers that they brew in, oh, their, in the brewery. In their brewery. <laughs> that makes sense. The Rock Bottom Brewery is a little further uh, off the beaten track so right. the crowds might not be as big by which you mean your wait would only be like 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> right. So don't come super hungry to any <laughs> restaurant because you're gonna have to wait, period. Right, exactly. Always bring snacks at Comic-Con. <laughs> have something to snack on, because yeah. you never know when you'll be stuck in a line for three hours, or you'll just be stuck in a crush of human beings for three hours. Oh, just God. Unrelated. Yeah. I nearly died in a crowd. <laughs> I was coming to see Battlestar Galactica a few years ago. It was a really bad scene. <laughs> I just wanted to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Good Night Inn in Chula Vista, Ooh. which is uh, a few miles away from the convention center. Uh, but Leslie and I stumbled upon the most delightful steakhouse in the world, <laughs> Roberto de Filippi's Steakhouse. We went in and it was kind of late, so there was almost nobody there. The lighting was very low and everything was sort of like mahogany. Ooh. There's a dude on a Casio keyboard playing the hits. <laughs> His name is Old RC. <laughs> He's just like, hey, I'm Old RC. and I'm just playing here every Tuesday and Wednesday night. <laughs> and uh, if, they, if they let me stay on, I knew the owner a long time ago. It was, it was a weird tale of history and woe, and, but then he played a sort of bossa nova cover of Ring of Fire. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, I like this. There are additional details. When we sat down in our booth, I turned around and there was a plaque on the wall over the booth that said, the Clint Eastwood booth. And it had a picture of Clint as Dirty Harry. <laughs> right. Yeah. And a brief description of the time Clint Eastwood came to the restaurant and what he ate. <laughs> they have like a copy of the receipt included. <laughs> I, I wish they had. Um, so we got we were lucky enough to sit in the Clint Eastwood booth. I noticed the booth next to us, which was empty, was the Jimmy Durante booth. And foolishly, I didn't go around and check all the booths to see what other <laughs> celebrities had eaten at this amazing steakhouse. Right. Also, a nice classy touch, ice in the urinals. Oh, well, you always like that. Well, it makes the time fly by because you'd never believe how fast <laughs> ice melts when urine hits it. Uh, how was the steak? <laughs> the steak was fine. So, that, and that is where? <laughs> it's in Chula Vista, which is not near the convention center, whatsoever. It's like eight miles away. But you know what? Not a difficult drive. And you're a big Clint Eastwood fan. Obviously, you want to hit the Clint Eastwood booth. I mean, it's a big deal. <laughs> or if you're a big Jimmy Durante fan, then if you're doing your Jimmy Durante cosplay. Maybe, maybe scout ahead, see which booth best suits you, and request that booth. What celebrity best fits your mood and or preferences. Thanks so much, Jeff. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. I'm glad I could be such a Really great help to everyone listening. I think everyone learned a lot today. Yeah, I did. All right, that's enough of that. Let's meet today's guests. Miles and Spencer of Two Buns, One Cow. Two Buns, One Cow. That's right. Miles yeah. and Spencer, what's up, guys? How's it going? It's Thank going. You for having us. You know, yeah, absolutely. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> How could it good. go any better? We have beer. Yeah, we have decent beer. We have a table full of flatbreads, which we'll get know. into later. <laughs> later, later, later. Um, We're going to find out what that is about. But First, yeah, two buns, one cow. It's about the burgers, guys. It's all about hamburgers. So yes. you guys are looking for the best burger there is, the right? Quest. It's like a quest. Yes, correct. A Absolutely. quest for the ultimate burger. And it doesn't matter if it's in L.A. or no. New York or Chicago or Florida or Lithuania. I, 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 I don't I know. Come, I draw the line at Lithuania. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 
Thank God. I'm a pretty good judge so, of, of things, and I think that I don't need to check that out. Oh, all right. Okay. Can we talk okay. about the worst burger that you've had? Oh. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, that, that is a good good place to start because... Do you know what it is? Right now, I can, I can tell you the worst burger... Lay it on me. I don't include any of the... Well, I don't know how you guys deal with profanity but we deal oh, with no, it no. by saying fuck all yeah. right i don't i, I don't know how I, I don't deal with shitty places like sure. burger king and mcdonald's those it's don't not really worth it yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's too easy those all are on the worst burgers but um at least for me the ult- the absolute worst burger that i've had was actually just redeemed because they changed the the establishment just recently changed their the way they do burgers and okay. i was blown away and what but happened uh, it was Blue Dog Burger okay. in um, Sherman Oaks, right by the ArcLight okay. in Sherman Oaks. Is right. it so blue cheese on yeah. it, or what's the, what's the deal? <clears throat> well, the, the name is Blue Dog Burger, right. and they do have a blue cheese burger there. However, I went there, and their claim to fame at the time was they cooked most of the ingredients in the patty. Okay, so they, like, smash it into exactly. the... All right. So I was right well, like, hang on a little bit. Okay. Are, they, are they a grilled type of deal, or are they a f- smash flat type? No, they're a grill. I mean, okay. it, this is... This is from walking in there, this is the place that kind of defines a good gastropub. Okay. I was, I was, I really wanted to like the place. That's yeah. the thing. I mean, everything about it was great. They had a great beer menu. Um, they had the the ingredients in their burgers looked amazing, but when it came to the actual execution, it was. I think on, on the blog I described it as the Sahara Desert was invited to a party in my mouth. Ooh. It was dry. <laughs> it was horrible. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, hey it, it was bad. I, yeah. I, was pretty, I, I was working on that term for a long yeah. time. So. I understand. Um, that's kind of, remember when we went to Golden Road, and I actually really dig that place. Yeah. Um, but the food was just kind of like, eh. yeah. The beer was great. I mean, you get yeah. lured in because... Yeah. And, but for beer, them, it's the kind of... The food is fine. The food is fine. You it go wasn't eat terrible. food, it's fine. Yeah, but, but the beer... This was terrible, though. This was terrible? Oh, no. <laughs> um, no, it, no, it was, it was just bad. And uh, uh, it was... A, I was... But they revamped it, you were saying. They, were, they, they, were, they yes. redid it. So they redeemed themselves? Or? Yeah, All actually, right. it's it's the, the, the post that I did today recently. Um, I went a couple weeks ago to see... Or a couple days ago, actually, to see, uh, I think, Dark Knight... Rises or okay. something like that right. at the <laughs> Yeah, and we had some extra time to kill, so everyone wanted to go there. And I was trying to say, "Hey, let's go somewhere else," right. but you know, I was pretty much forced to go there. Right. So uh, uh, they changed everything up. I mean, they actually. So uh, new management, or did you ask, or I, I don't know. New just management. you went back, and it's like, dude, could be different. Shot, you don't know. Now, now they do a just the patty, and then all the toppings on it. The same menu. It's just all the toppings are now on it, and I was blown away. Night okay. and day difference. It was. I, it was a very, very good burger. And All I'll right, be going so back. the most improved award. All right, yeah. well, that's the worst. Uh, <laughs> that's how are we getting the most improved award <laughs> in well, basketball? All right, so in, in LA, sixth grade. do you guys have a top in LA? Got to know, right? Yes. All right. And what do you think? Grill them all. Yeah. Yeah. Grill them all the truck? The truck. The truck. Okay. Yeah. The truck. I Without a doubt. Yeah. I, I have a grill them all tattoo. It's that good. <laughs> it's it's really good. <laughs> Let me see. The, where's the tattoo? You got to show it's, it. Now you have to show it. Yeah, you talked about it. <laughs> He does. Oh, God. Wow. Is it going to be... Uh, Dorsey, make sure this is on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You got it? All right, all right, all right. Good. All right, us, so do you, do you have a favorite at Grill Mall? Like, do you got one to get? Yes. Okay. Well, both, yeah, we, we can yeah. agree on a favorite. That the, it's, and it's what makes it so, that truck so unique, I think, is the, it's the D. Snyder burger. <laughs> okay. okay. So you know it's going to be really weird. Yeah, right. <laughs> And it, <laughs> it's gonna it, be a little twisted. Every perhaps. time, Very. every okay, time yeah. we talk about this burger, people they have the same result. <laughs> they 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 freak out. They go, "I would never eat that." So it's got it's got the, the bread, the burger, crunchy peanut butter. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Strawberry. Strawberry Whoa. jelly. Grape jelly. What? Grape Come jelly. On, get it right. Grape jelly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's jelly. It's got jelly. It's grape jelly. Grape jelly. Bacon. All right. Okay. And then the kicker: sriracha sauce. Dude. This sounds a lot like this place I know in St. Louis, and I'm not going <laughs> to... St. <a>, Louis! <laughs> I know, I know. But I thought they had, like, this totally unique thing there. That's awesome that Grill Em All is doing that same flavor profile of the jelly with the peanut butter with the yeah. burger, so you get, like, the umami okay. and the sweet okay. and the salty. It's so I right, it. right, right. Okay, it's, we got to go try Grill Em All. We got to try and it. And I want to try and it. And it. Like, it sounds super weird to tell you. You like peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. You like sriracha? Yeah. yeah. You like burgers? Yeah. Yes, I You'll do. love this. No, it sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> It does. God, you, you like all of these things. Where did you guys find these guys? 
I actually, um, I don't know about Spencer, but I was obsessed with the great food truck race on the Food Network. Oh, yeah, right. It was the very first season. I was rooting for Grill Em All. I mean, they were local, and they were amazing. Everything about them seemed incredible. Um, And then I was able to try them, and it just, I was blown away. And then uh, slowly over, you know, just trying everything. That was actually the last one I wanted to try. Because Grill them all was like the last. No, no, no the, the D Snyder on the Grill them oh, all okay, was, was yeah, the last. Okay. Everything they so made weird. so far. Yeah. yeah, it's just, I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. I'll try something else. What was the first one that you got? Because clearly this is your fave, right? Right. So. Well, actually, when, when my friend, I uh, went some, with some friends, and we were we were pretty... Um, Fucked up. Buzzed, yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and use the word buzzed in a sense. But uh, we ordered sure. one of everything. Uh-huh. And they ended up trying the D Snyder... Of course, maybe I tried it too. I don't really remember. But, <laughs> too um, far along the tasting. <laughs> but we ended, between three of us, we ate seven burgers. Good. And wow. big burgers too. Oh, <laughs> so, man. Congratulations. It was, um, that it was is bad. a difficult fraction. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it right now. You know what? I don't have my iPhone in front of me. <laughs> Let's just forget about it until later. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, but the next time that I was sober and tried it. <laughs> <laughs> so the so yeah. sober recommendation. I think yes. I was there, right? We got that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we ended up I think we ended up just uh, well, so both going for it. But weird toppings are kind of the thing it's true. right now. Because you gotta outdo the other place. Exactly. So, right. Exactly. Yeah. You have to stand out. But you're always gonna run into like, no. Don't yeah. stop <laughs> putting that. Because, yeah. I mean, so what's, like, the weirdest one that you've experienced? I mean, is it oh, jelly? Is it grape jelly? Or I mean, is that's it... got to be the weirdest thing. What could be weirder than... Well, me? the weirdest thing that oh, you, you ate and you were just like... Come on, let's... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why did I not think of this? Because mm. you can get weird and be like, oh, I once had, you know, like, jellyfish butthole on my... <laughs> that's good, <laughs> by the way. Uh, jellyfish, jellyfish butthole. butthole. This so when was the last time you guys had jellyfish butthole on a burger? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> when have I not had it? I carry, <laughs> I carry it around with me in my wallet. I mean, this is as a, 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 a wallet you know, size. Yeah, wallet size. <laughs> jellyfish well, jellyfish jellyfish yeah, yeah, you're going to put it on everything. Store.lafoodie.com. I mean... <laughs> We should no, but we should email weird, me a recipe. Weird, yeah. <laughs> weird toppings. I mean, peanut butter is weird. Jelly's a little weird. Sriracha, not bad. It's pretty weird. much thrown on everything here in L.A. Right. So, like, I mean... Honestly, I don't know how weird I've, I've gotten. I would say, as far as as far as weirdness goes, the D. Snyder would be the weirdest. Right. I mean, it's it's really it's rare to find somebody that it's will rare. Let me just ask, why do you think it's called the D. Snyder? Because he's fucking weird. All right. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's all. That's all we needed. I, I didn't need that, is that is correct. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah. That was. I, I win. I win. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we should totally knock on 25 degrees. What do you guys think of 25 degrees? <laughs> and the Roosevelt Hotel, right across from the Man Chinese. 25 degrees. 25 degrees. No <laughs> the Fritz review. Burgers. The whole thing is about the burger at the 25 degrees. <laughs> what do you think? And how is it? Well, they Bullshit. think it's the best. <laughs> they, they think it's the best, and if, it, and if it was about what they think, everyone would go there. And everyone they're does wrong. go there, but they're wrong. And all the people on Yelp are wrong, and all the people Ooh. on the blogs are wrong. Oh, at, le- at least from, and, and, here, and here's the kicker. It wasn't just one experience. It was two simultaneously bad experiences. Yeah. And so we went there on the recommendation of the internet and friends and people we respect. That said, the internet you told you to check go? Out the, the internet, internet told me. You should look into should something called the Google. Internet. Thank you, Al Gore. You can find all of the internets <laughs> in the Google. Um, anyway, so we went there. It looked really great. The menu had great ingredients. They were really creative. Yeah. Um, but we got <laughs> we, we, we ordered something that looked great. We both ordered two separate things and the the bartender slash waiter who took our order, oh, we right. asked him Bartender uh, first. How how is the how are the burgers supposed to be cooked? How was it intended by the chef? And he says medium rare. We said perfect. That's how we like burgers. Right, sure, yeah. And so we both when we get it, both of them are well done. Not mm. black and crispy, but not far off. But not far right, off. Okay. We're talking no pink. The medium rare should be pink, should be red, yeah, yeah, orange. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Nothing. And it was just it, it just it just ruined because because a good burger starts. If w- I can't get meat. an orange burger, yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> Nuclear. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, like, <laughs> well, how were the toppings? I mean, the top the toppings were fine, but it. it you gotta it, start with the good burger. It, it, I'm not getting a vegetarian sandwich here. I'm getting, you know, <laughs> right. meat with toppings in a bun. 
And if the meat isn't good, you can't. How can you expound upon I that? I think that's true. kind of the problem, that's actually. That that's the problem I've had with kind of like the the burger revolution in right. L.A. Yeah. The cool part of this whole thing, and it is a real thing, actually. That's I mean, true. there's like yeah. a lot it of really awesome is, hamburgers yeah. in L.A. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so many awesome places in the last five years alone, right? But the problem is, is that I feel like we might have gotten uh, a little distracted by what goes on the burger. Yes, um, right. Have That's you guys true. been to Slater's Fifty Fifty in Anaheim? No. I've been there, but I know what it is. It's, right. That's the, it's the half bacon, and then they just did the full bacon. Yeah, it right. sounds amazing, bacon. but guess what? A bacon burger is actually not that good. There's a reason they don't. That they people don't, don't do this. An bacon. entire patty. Yeah. You know, let me tell you. When I went to uh, Shake Shack in um, Shake Shack, you busted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In New York. Before they became a chain in uh, Madison Square Park, Mm -hmm. the first time I had a burger, I was like, ah, just give me a cheeseburger. I didn't realize that just ordering a cheeseburger meant just a burger Burger with with cheese cheese on it and nothing (laughs) else. Just (laughs) top it with shit? (laughs) Well, hang on. Was it not good? No, because I got it and I was like, what the fuck is this? Well, hang on, because Shake Shack's amazing. No, I know, because I got it and I was like, what the fuck is this? And the guy was like, just eat it. (laughs) Yeah, he was like, just eat it. Oh my God, what am I going to do with this burger? <laughs> it, was, it slapped me. Uh, it was fantastic yeah. because he makes say. it with brisket, like his half oh, of the wow. burger. Yeah, so oh it's God. fantastic. It's mm-hmm. great. Because they pay attention to the meat. The meat is exactly. important. So right. you want to have the meat the first shack, and then everything else on top of it. The meat's yeah. the cornerstone to a burger. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so many people yeah. are so obsessed well, with it. It's not even the cornerstone. It's like the it's, only it's, fucking yeah. foundation. It makes me really upset right. Right. Yeah. when people order, and this applies to steaks too. It makes me really upset when people go, uh, yeah, well done. I want it black, you know? Yeah. Like, why get a steak? Why get a burger? Because you're zapping Well, can we talk about the backlash? Yeah. All right. So okay. the doneness backlash, and I don't know if you what guys subscribe to this yeah, theory, about this. but talk about this. I feel like uh, growing up, okay, the burger was always a safe choice on the menu, and mm-hmm. I would always order like if I ever got asked, which by the way, at like Shoney's and Denny's or wherever the fuck, <laughs> Shoney's, I you're always getting asked. <laughs> but if you like the burger asked, done, we're Shoney's like right here. It's cooked. important. Yeah. Uh, you know, medium or medium. I, Medium rare was who's the blue guy with the round head on Sesame Street? Uh, Grover. The Grover would always fuck his order up. I feel like he Simon was no oh, Simon was oh, the guy that made no, the noise. The guy with the mustache. Yeah, I don't know what his name is, but he's the guy with the mustache. He, everybody knows what I'm talking about. He's the guy about, with the fly though, right? in his suit, but he's like, <laughs> who's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, who's the yeah, yeah. the black Republican? Yeah. Herman Cain, the guy that looks like <laughs> Herman Cain. that guy. Yes, it's Herman Cain. <laughs> okay, the we'll, black Republican. Yeah. We'll call him Herman Cain. Yeah, what did Herman yeah. Cain do? <laughs> well, Grover. <laughs> would bring him his hamburger. <laughs> Fucking always Grover. cooked medium rare. Sure. And so right. medium rare was my point of reference, and medium rare became well done. Yeah. I mean, yeah. throughout most okay. of my life, and I, I feel like, I mean, I've been in LA for about oh, nine years now, and I feel I'm like sorry. even in the, <laughs> I love LA. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I feel like even in that time, there's been sort of a change in how burgers are prepared. Like when I first came here. It was a crapshoot if you ordered a medium rare burger. You might get a medium, medium well. But now this sure. backlash of like, I don't want to call it the hipster burger joint, but I do want to call it like the appreciative young person burger joint. <laughs> I mean, people who have been to a mommy burger a bunch of times, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> what the fuck joint. is this, man? <laughs> and it's kind of like, what uh, is this burger? This is I bullshit, order, man. Like, If that, I order yeah, medium, yeah. I feel like it comes out rare now. Right, and yeah, that's yeah. the backlash, I okay. think, is sure. that it's there's a tendency to undercook so you think order. it's switched? Yeah, I do. I, maybe I'm wrong. Did you, have you guys but had it, a similar I mean, experience? I mean, it, it, is it just in L.A., or do you think that everywhere are serving burgers undercooked now? It's hard to say. I mean, food traveling along Route 66? No, mm-hmm. not really. Yeah, maybe just L.A. Okay. I think that, uh, I think that kind of counteracts what everyone... Because a lot of places don't ever didn't used to at least ask you how you wanted to well, cook. Well, that's it's true. Like, do you want a burger? Okay, right. we're going to give you a burger. Yeah, Me your and, hamburger's coming and, up, and exactly. it's going to be how we cook. Yeah. Right. One, yeah, it's like, it's not you. raw now. Yeah. <laughs> well, but but I think that's, I think actually that's better, because nine For times the out of ten. the kitchen to make the choice? Yes, nine I'm times actually out of ten, you. the yeah. chef or the cook, they know what they're doing. I mean, average Joes don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they don't know yeah. how to move. They don't know I mean, what tastes good they don't, to them. They don't, they don't, Those assholes. They don't. I think it's a bigger debate, actually. Like, <laughs> do you let stupid people vote? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, can we really allow you to order your hand? Yeah. 
We got. We but that's, I know you want a well done, but then you're, that's almost, you're getting you're that's stupid. The father's I'm office. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. you know, you have the father's Can I have my filet mignon have, uh, yeah. well done? No, you can't. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not possible. Try sorry, again. we don't make it that way. <laughs> you have places like the father's office. You have places like uh, sure. Stout in Hollywood. Right. These are places that they will allow you to say, no, I don't want that on my burger. But as far as substitutions go, no. Because right. when it comes down to it, it's the cook, it's the chef that creates these things so why would you let somebody who doesn't know anything about cooking fuck with your recipe and then well, a potentially of, yeah. say it's a lot of people burger. complain about that a lot of people say i don't like father's office they don't let me put ketchup all over my burger <laughs> and i'm like don't go there yeah. you don't or have to don't go there and, and, and i think ultimately that's they have a thing, they have a thing it, down it's they, common they, knowledge they do. that yeah. they don't let have them substitutions do their thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. so if you don't if you don't want it's like people come down there and they're like can i have a substitution <laughs> like no nobody gets substitution but what about oh never mind you're special you are not and then they are not they go this is outrageous i had no idea you know what i just noticed ben so. That none of us have anything in our mouths. Oh God! I think that means it might be time <laughs> for our next segment, guys. <laughs> what did we put in your mouths? What did we put in your mouth? Is the game where we blindfold our guests, give them a couple of hints, and then have them guess what we put in their mouths. What That's rating f- is this website? <laughs> this is an NC-17. NC-17. Right, That's right, Miles it. and Spencer. Once time begins, Lisa's going to help you with your blindfolds right now, by the way. Right. Once time XXX. begins, you'll have one minute during which you can sample the items. You can ask us My head can't breathe. yes or no questions. Today, you'll be drinking two different root beers. You don't need to tell us what brand they are. But let's see if you can tell the difference between homemade root beer and store bought. Challenge Gentlemen, accepted. Gentlemen, I don't know if you just understood and condensed what you were just told. But Not what's about to happen, Lisa, LA foodie photographer, Ben Waters squeeze. <laughs> Made my sweetheart over here. <laughs> homemade root beer. That's right. She made it herself. And so what you're going to be tasting? So hang two on. Is the, don't tell me what, what this is. But I this don't is even one, know. and then the other's coming out. There's Lisa? two. Kay. Can we have any Different? ginger to cleanse my palate? Because I've been drinking a lot of beer. And I can probably alcohol. give you guys beer some pineapple sorbet palate, if you right? think that's. Uh, no, I will what? never <laughs> say no to pineapple sorbet. <laughs> you're going to be able to tell the difference. All right, we the can as can the viewer, tell the difference. But the blindfolded yes. person cannot. All right. All right. So what? what so what so is homemade ben, can you ben, please keep the time help Spencer. For us. I'm going to help Miles. All right. So here's which one are we going for first? This one first. Okay. This is the first one. That's the glass. Okay. Spencer. So go ahead. Here you go. Grab that. And take a sip. All right. Please keep the time. Okay. Right. And the timer here begins. We go yeah. now. Please take. All right. Okay. You can ask yes or no questions. You can. Okay, what are you experiencing? One. What are you tasting? What's happening right now? It's smooth, very sweet. It tastes like dad's. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. All right. It's not very carbonated. Okay. So All right. Take so that let's from set you. this one down. I'll help you okay. set this one down. Now here is and number two. Over to your right. Okay. Right. This is sample hand. number two. So Can go I ahead take and a sip that? of beer to cleanse my palate. Yeah, yeah. Here is your sip of beer. <laughs> non root. Yeah. Of the yeah, the non root variety. Any excuse to drink. What do you think of this root beer? Uh, okay. tastes like water and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give it a give it a taste. Okay, all right, sure. That tastes more. I'm oh, sorry. This tastes more like sarsaparilla. Okay. And uh, Ooh, normal root beer. There you go. All right. Uh, any other questions? All right. So the uh, question I have is: I know one is homemade. Yeah. What is the other one? One is from the store. One is homemade. All right, there's, so there's hundreds of types of root beer. Come on. So uh, pull up, pull the blindfolds off, gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. So now you can see this was number one. Mm-hmm. This was number two. Right. Okay. Which is which? <laughs> which is the homemade? <laughs> which is which? Yeah, you showed them. <laughs> this is. Well, you were. Right. Can we which choose? Which is which? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess. <laughs> it's gonna be a real challenge. <laughs> I would what say was the brand? You are totally yeah. right. It, it was Dad's, Dad's Thank you. root beer. It was you Dad's root 100% beer. 100% right. That is impressive. The other was actually. brewed with, hang on, dirt. And what do you say? I do have to say, <laughs> yeah. I, I used to, I only started drinking at 25. 
at okay. the age of 25. Okay. Before cool. that, I was uh, I was straight edge for like almost Ooh, 10 years. Really? You had the yes. little tattoos with the X's? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look at that right here! You can't see it right there, so, but I can see it right here. Hang on, for those you, of you, for those you do, straight do edge thing. viewers... Do, uh, show me the X's. For those of you straight <laughs> edge viewers, <laughs> don't give me shit. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> anyway, um, so I while, while most of my friends drank, uh, <laughs> I would drink root beer, and we would try... Numerous types of root beer. Um, so you know the best your of which is Henry Weinhardt's. Oh. Uh, Hang on, better than Sprecher's? I actually, that is one I've never tried. I've Sprecher's, wanted to try it. Yeah, Sprecher's is my favorite. Where's Henry Weinhardt's from? Henry Weinhardt's is from Oregon. It's okay. from Ooh. Hood River, Oregon. Okay. And it's amazing. They make everything that they make is delicious. Uh, they make an orange soda. It tastes like an orange creamsicle. They make. Uh, well, are they available here? Anywhere? Yes, anywhere. Yeah. Where? Um, at your local restaurant. You could at probably even get restaurant? it at... Uh, Galco's? You could probably get it at Top Value. Top Value. Top Value? Top value. Just what? Just with, right. Without an E. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. So, uh, both were delicious, though. All right. You know, can't, can't without your straight edge history, them. what did you think? <laughs> of the root beer? Yeah. yeah. Or the tie. Uh, well, clearly... Mostly the tie. I'm mostly concerned about the tie. I have a hat on, and I didn't think I think clearly the store bought... Won this one, right? It seems like it. I feel like the dad's root beer was the clear choice on well, this one, gentlemen. It just tasted more like what my perception of root beer yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. I think maybe right, that's well, it. Yes. That brings us to our next segment. Which is? What is peaking Lisa's Pinterest? What is peaking Lisa's Pinterest? That is the question. I don't know. So, Lisa, tell us about this homemade root beer. I'm, I'm not that thrilled with this homemade root beer. I was really excited to make it. Super excited. I thought it was going to be thicker, actually. And, and it, came, well, it came from Pinterest, right? It came from Pinterest. It's actually a Gwyneth Paltrow recipe. Gwyneth? What? Fuck Sorry. you, Gwyneth Paltrow! <laughs> okay, what? so Gwyneth Paltrow, and they That's can quote us on her. this, they, she doesn't know how to make root beer. Well... <laughs> yes. And I know that God, for a fact so now. True. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> Yes. Um, you know, <laughs> root beer maker. I get how it tastes like. Oh, no. <laughs> I get how it tastes like root beer. It wasn't as sweet. I think I've made a sweeter batch. I think you know sometimes it just depends on. I don't know. Maybe I didn't put enough brown sugar in. I, I followed the recipe. I, don't I think know what maybe happened. you're blaming yourself for a shitty root beer. Maybe recipe. I am. You know, it wasn't. You're blaming yourself what, I am. for what? It's when it's fault. Paltrow <laughs> fucked this up. <laughs> It's, it's Paltrow's fault. Let's be honest, it's fucking it's, Gwyneth, it's the right? It's guy from Coldplay's fault. If but. we're really gonna. <laughs> yeah, if we wanna get really. Maybe she made perfectly oh. good root beer until maybe well, she Let's get TMZ in, in this. Like, it's, this is like, it's this is like a Coldplay. metaphor for their marital problems or something <laughs> like that. I think that's probably correct. So. So, I think it's really fun to make, and it's, you know, it's a fine. It's fine. It's. You know, it's if if you like it that way. If you want to add an extra bite to it, you can add more peppercorn. You know, you can go to our Pinterest and you can learn how to make it. Um, but but you know. don't though, right? Because it's <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> so no, hang no, on. It's, if you want to make a root beer a little lighter, if you drank root beer and you were like, "God damn, I wish this was I feel half like we're as just... strong." <laughs> I think I added a little too much uh, peppercorns. But don't blame yourself. Okay, I, I think blame this, is, this is on Paltrow okay. entirely. Yeah. All right. This is one hundred percent of Paltrow. Oh, no, 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 you're oh, right. Oh, I mean, come Paltrow. on, Bruce is actually. What I... <laughs> we definitely oh. have better stuff. That piques my interest on Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, until next time, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Awesome. That leads us right into our next segment. I think it's time for free samples, guys. Yeah. This free is the part of the show <laughs> where we taste a food and sample it right on the spot. Today, we've got a sampling of flatbreads from Bon Savor. Bon Savor. Bon Savor. Bon Savor. Bon, bon Savor. Bon, if I'm going to say it like Honey Boo Boo Child, <laughs> it's Bon Savor. What did, what did Bon Savor get us? All right. It's a bunch of shit. Look, Bon Savor sent us <laughs> this huge <laughs> box of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and Tina? God bless them. Uh, no bon they Iver are made. out no, of Dallas. Not bon Iver. <laughs> no, 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 they're out of Dallas, Texas, so they're not local. I it, it, seriously though, I, I love it we, when people yeah, send yeah, us stuff because they're just like, try this on your podcast, and we're just like, Please, all yeah. right. 
So okay. you got here's the tortillas. thing. So on the burger podcast, so there's, we have tortillas. That's right. That's that's so so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. hang on. Sure. We have naan. Ooh. We have pita. We got tortillas. We got tortillas. tortillas. We wraps. Got wraps. Okay. Totally different than tortillas. Tomato basil. Because everybody needs to pick one. Please, yeah, try whatever. What would you like? We got whole wheat wraps. We got spinach. Oh, naan. Good call. No, 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 it's original, no, no. Right. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to take fajita right tortillas. I'm gonna g- <laughs> Nobody's going pita? Yeah, dude. You take the fucking pita. You guys are <laughs> fucked, and you don't even know why. It's oh, my God. Pita is a total hipster drink. All right, so <laughs> crack open your bones. Yeah, you crack it. And everybody take a bite. This. Oh, it's the other end. My oh, shit's upside down. <laughs> it's a circle, man. Look. The branding is upside down. <laughs> not, not my circle. <laughs> All right, it tastes like a tortilla, right? What sure. is naan supposed to taste like? Like a naan? Non- um, non- this is a naan tortilla. Does it taste like it was uh, baked like on the inside of a tandoor? Well. Oh shit! All right. Since tasting flatbread is a yeah. little boring, it is. Let's do something different with it. I would like to. I'm gonna taste this. And. I mean, it's that was the most exciting thing that ever happened no. to me. Woo! Hey, oh! Yeah, never mind. All right, let's try something different. Let's do it. All right, we've tried eating them. Now let's try throwing them. It's the flatbread toss, everybody. Yeah. Some men prepare their entire lives for this event. We have not. Today we'll be tossing the Bond Saver flatbreads of our choice into this small plastic box. <laughs> the first one to hit it wins all the flatbread. Now I see the benefit of the pita. <laughs> Gentlemen, oh. your breads have been chosen. Did you choose the I did not choose non. Hang I on, chose something I'm else. Pita. What did I choose? I'm I pita. Did everybody get what they... I had non. Oh, you're... No, I chose a wrap or some shit. What did I choose? Who had what? You had the... Oh, no, I, I had yeah, these I whole wheat tomato tortillas. Baseball. All right. Everybody's got their choice. I got the pita. Damn oh, pita. Oh, that's a total advantage. The non. All right, Miles, you're up first. Hang on. Is a pretty Wait. good one. Oh, shit, I dropped all the tortillas <laughs> on the ground. You well, right. you know, it doesn't the matter. Whole the whole purpose of the box. game, everybody right. gets two tosses. Two. All right. Now, oh. Don't, 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 don't step beyond the line. Two. You got to step back oh. here. Yeah, and you can the only line. walk the up to the edge is of the line. So, uh, right. Into the small to get plastic here. box. Whoever can... gets closest yes. wins everything. Yes. If you get it in. Jackpot. Do it. Then, I don't know, Ben is going to blow you. Yeah. Dude, I want to win. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Nobody so happy that. they sent us these frisbees. Oh <laughs> all right. Oh, <laughs> oh not terrible. even close. Terrible. Not well. at all. Oh, Here comes. All, all right. <laughs> How will the non fare? That was a tomato, tomato basil. basil. Okay, tomato basil. So tomato now basil. comes Tasty. the non. Not, and you think the non's going to be serious? You think the non's going to be serious? Fuck Oh, my God. That was so close. Ben. Oh, all right, all right. I, I got, I got whole wheat or some shit. Wait, hang on. Oh, whole shit. wheat? Tor- whole wheat. Hand, you whole have wheat, wheat wraps. Tortillas. Bond saver wheat wraps. Here comes. Here comes. Oh, not e- not at all. Not a terrible. This is just terrible. Yeah, this is terrible. Like, just awful. Right. I don't know I'm up do. on pita. Pita. That's not aerodynamic, by pita. the way. Pita. No, it, no that's, that's good. You got some weight to it. Here comes. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. it's the closest. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're trying this right-handed. One more round. No. Oh, Pretty no, good. no, no, and tomato basil, not tomato basil it. The non going P- playing the tree is legal. For the non. Oh, right, you tell us. No, no, no. no. Oh, a good effort. effort. A good right, effort. Right. Whole wheat, whole wheat. I'm going to try the whole wheat tortilla one more time. Here we go. Ben up on the whole wheat tortilla, steps gonna, up to the line, gonna, lines up, and winds back to throw the. No, uh, not even close. Not even close. close. fail. Good word. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You don't even need to throw. You already win. Yeah. I know. Congratulations <laughs> you on your tortillas. Oh, oh it sure helps when you know what you're doing <laughs> Did I win you no matter what? the tortilla. Yeah. Probably. I All think. right. So I basically this is to just rub it in everybody's face. Yeah, exactly. you asshole. Is this full contact? <laughs> <laughs> if you miss really badly, you lose. Oh, oh God. God. All right. Well, I would go both of yours were the closest one. Yeah, so congratulations. Drew wins everything. Well, I think the only conclusion to draw here is that Bond Saver Pita. Yeah. 
is the most aerodynamically yeah, throwable throwing. flatbread product offered <laughs> by Bon Saber. So, and the cheapest board game. If yeah. you're in the Dallas area, <laughs> and well, if you're in the America area, yeah. and you're looking for a flatbread from Dallas, to a flatbread throw. that would be kind enough to send in free samples to a podcast like LA Foodie, and, and? you're looking to have a contest with a throwable Flatbread. <laughs> then pita is the way to pita go. Pita is yeah, the only right, way that you exactly. can go. Exactly. All right. Congratulations, everybody. All you frisbee golfers out there. Yes. <laughs> no. A script never comes alive until the table read. In this segment, we give voice to some of Yelp's finest pros. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you Yelp Counter Yelp. This week, we look at Yelp's views on L.A. Burger on Pico. First, Ben will be playing the part of Ryan M., from Los Angeles, California. Okay. I don't, want, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I have a quick tale to tell. First off, let me say that I had written this review two weeks ago. It would have been five stars easily. LA Burger had, by far, the best burger and fries in LA and therefore the world. Absolutely delicious. Cheap, etc. I'd say I ate here at least once a month, but not anymore. It pains me to write this review, but I feel obligated. Last weekend, two very good friends who also consider this the best burger in LA swung by to grab a burger after they parked and were walking up to the main counter. They caught a glimpse of the owner through the small side window. At least I assume he's the owner. The older Asian gentleman, always friendly, in the kitchen with his pants down, fully exposed, holding his genitals. He was behind the large menu, probably assuming that no one could see him. From the description, there wasn't anything sexual or malicious going on. They said it seemed more medical, like he was maybe inspecting something. Uh, down there, one friend said he, he saw bandages, but still it's clearly inappropriate for a kitchen no matter. The friend who witnessed it is helping me write this review so this isn't hearsay. I feel bad because this guy was always very friendly and seems like a genuinely nice person. And as I already stated, the food is cheap and delicious, but I feel like the public should be informed. But if something like that doesn't gross you out, then by all means, help yourself to the best burger I ever had. I'll miss you, L.A. Burger. And now... I will be playing the part of Samantha T. from Sherman Oaks, California. A five-star review. Okay, so it was Sunday morning and our normal breakfast spot was jam-packed. Next. So we decided to try LA Burgers since they had an advertisement for like $5 breakfast special. We were so not let down. I ordered the California omelet and it was amazing. Da, da, da. Avocado, tomato, onion, cheese, and country potatoes for like $6? I will definitely go back. The people are super friendly, and the food is delicious and cheap. Yum! Can't wait to try one of their burgers. And now, I think it's time for the LA Foodie Restaurant Review. This week, we've got burgers from LA Burger. <laughs> On Pico, between Fairfax and La Cienega. All right, we're here with these guys. Yes. You know, I've heard, you know, I've heard good know, things about them. Yeah. You know, it claims on a huge sign out front to be the best burger in L.A. <laughs> and you know the very first thing I thought of? You've seen Elf. Yes. <laughs> yes. Best, best coffee, coffee in New York. <laughs> yeah, you did it. You did it. <laughs> the best burger in L.A. I hope they never right. picked these up so right. that when they walked in there. So let's... Um, There's not a lot of genitals, in, genitals involved in these burgers. <laughs> more medical. Guys, so yeah, more, it's, it's, it's totally medical, guys. Just there in, we go. This, just is a, this is a classic, right? Have some of these burgers. Right. This is a classic burger. Right? I'm yeah. going to try the classic first. That, that kind of sets the stage right here. Classic. All right. This is the classic right this here? Is classic. This is the classic. This is the classic right here. Right here. Right. I'm going to try this Cheese, guy. Cheese. This guy has some egg on it or some shit. Ketchup. Yeah. Well, okay. 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 Median impressions are we waited a little to too long to have yeah, these. I mean, probably, yeah. yeah. Maybe a little. This is a timing issue on our part. Uh, we just went and picked these up. We were having too much fun throwing flatbreads, let's be honest. 
with one another. Mm-hmm. I found, though, temperature does not mask a good burger. You're right. As Sam from Dogfish Head would say, yeah. if you want to tell the difference between my beer and a shitty beer, drink it warm, yeah. just drink them at room warm. temperature. So, okay. so what do you guys think? I'm, drink- I'm eating the classic burger now. I dig it. Yeah, I think it tastes like... Not bad. Like... An in and out burger that they spent more time on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the patties is thicker. Yeah. What's, What's the one with the eggs try? on? That's the ABC burger. This, this one's the ABC burger right here. There's eggs on it? Oh, is there bacon on that one? Yes. It's the only one with bacon. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like bacon on your burger? No. I said, thank God it has bacon. Oh, okay, good. Bacon and burgers. This is the one that has pineapple. Synonymous. synonymous. So which one is this? this? The bacon. Yeah. There you go. This is the bacon egg burger? Yeah. Gross. (laughs) (laughs) We'll do this all as some sort of getting it done montage, like, the best around. (laughs) Dude. I've always wanted to be a part of a good montage. <laughs> and so if this is I feel it, a montage coming up. That would be amazing. They're not bad. Uh-huh. At all. Okay, let me finish that bite. I think we need to go there. Here's here's where I'm coming down. Is <laughs> we didn't have these burgers fresh off the grill. But what they're telling me top, is yeah. I feel like maybe they know what they're doing over there. And maybe it deserves another visit for us to go check them out. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. You can't review a cold burger. It's not fair. So we had to come down here to LA Burger and review it on the spot. Now, unfortunately, the guy that works here, a guy by the name of Gustavo, uh, wasn't does, that into does, us being doesn't inside. want us to be but here. But it's cool. Not just, the, just not inside. <laughs> no, but we're I, I disagree. It's not cool. It's not a cool thing to I do. Know. It's a dumb thing to do. So, um, but let's eat some burgers while they're hot, huh? Let's eat them while they're hot. Before I even Bye bite guys. into the burger, whether yes. it's good or not. Uh-huh. I know. Just out of principle, I got to say don't come here. <laughs> but let's try the burger. Let's try the burgers. Okay, this looks like, I, this has got to be the the L.A. burger here. There's no cheese on oh, this Oh, this one's, a, this That's is the, the ABC, ABC, right? This yeah, is it's the, the avocado, there. bacon, and cheese. I All believe. right. All right. Or rather, that's a pretty tasty burger. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good. I don't know how yours is. Mine is actually tasting pretty good. Best burger in LA? Ridiculous claim, of course. Well, sure. Um, it's a perfectly fine burger. Yeah. I would say that my guess, though, originally, when we had them cold, yes. I was imagining them to be better. Okay. Um, maybe it's the bitter taste of revenge in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's actually the burger, but... Very upset. Um, I understand. You know, I, this is not a go-out-of-your-way type of burger. But this is... Um, oh, if you're in the neighborhood, it, you live around fine. here? It's yeah, fine. by all means, you should come and take... I, I think it's an okay bite. I mean, I understand you've got, you've got beef with the beef man. <laughs> but, you know. Straight across the board, though, you know, there's nothing that I can take apart about this burger. I think the oh. meat pa- is packed a little tight. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a little thicker of a patty that, than I like. I mean, there's okay. a, a lot of demerits I think so across the board we'll say uh, you seem to think it's better than me I, maybe my own personal <laughs> feelings are interfering I think you're I, letting your your what is what does the emperor say like don't let uh, your don't feelings know. cloud your judgment yeah like my that. feelings are clouding my judgment but uh, even even on a to suffering <laughs> <laughs> even on a good day this is uh, this is only an okay burger yeah yeah it's um, not bad Thanks for listening to L.A. Foodie. Find everything that you heard or saw on today's show at LAFoodie.com. Feel free to drop us an email at blog at LAFoodie.com or podcast at LAFoodie.com. As always, I'm Drew Hubbard. And I'm Ben Waters. And as Twitter follower at Tokesolagundoye always says, Holy craze balls, that looks phenomenal. I love you guys so much. Like, so much. 